Ah, hey, are you a teacher, climate activist, youth worker? Do you want to engage in a climate education? Huh, but do you have tools for that? Well, we have, and we will be very happy to share them with you. So, why role playing games? As a wise person said, we are the first generation to know that we're destroying our planet and the last one that can do anything about it. What does this mean for educators? We cannot wait and give lectures. We need new educational tools now. We need to spark action. And role playing games can do that as they engage emotions and engage behavioral learning. Our international team combines experts with 20 years of experience as narrative game designers, psychologists, pedagogues, and professional trainers of teachers. Let's hear about the games we have crafted for you for climate educators. Big Roof is a big scale walking board game about the tragedy of the common and dilemmas of cooperation. The players take on the roles of local farmers who use a public apple grove for their private benefits, unaware that a catastrophe may happen if they exploit the natural resources recklessly. You can play it with 10 to 30 players and it is possible to organize this game during a school lesson. A Tree of Life is a role-playing game about community and responsibility. So players play fantasy creatures who live in a giant tree and everyone just know a little bit from a big puzzle. The tree is in danger, they need to cooperate together to, uh, solve, to find solutions and solve the problem. So this game is for young players, it's very easy to organize in school lessons and summer camps. Also it's suitable for from 10 to 30 players. Ceremony for Hope is an educational game tackling emotional challenge of climate grief. The players play a version of future themselves whose dreams were shattered by a climate catastrophe. To cope with the despair and hopelessness, they join secular ceremony of trust and hope. To play, there can be from 4 to 20 players and it is recommended for adults and uh, climate activists who struggle with this challenge personally. The Reservoir is an outdoor game about water scarcity set in a post-apocalyptic storyline. The game encourages deep reflection on real-world environmental challenges, offering a unique blend of st strategy, role-playing and social interaction. The game is fast and engaging, so it's suitable for young children and it can be organized uh, during a single outdoor lesson. Up to 30 players can join and you only need three buckets of water and some recycled materials to organize it. Climate Perspectives is a futuristic game about climate politics. In it, diplomats from all over the world gather at a climate peak in the year 2050. Local interests clash with a global need to save the planet. It is a flexible game in terms of players. It can be played between 5 and 35 players and uh, within 45 minutes up to 2 hours. It has been already played in over 10 countries over 100 times and we don't intend to stop there. Good news! Our games are published as an open source, so you can use them freely, even without asking us. Also, you can use them uh, for commercial purpose, so you can get paid for facilitation or organizing, but you cannot sell or publish it uh, as your own, our game materials. If you have any question regarding the games, you can contact Nausicaa Foundation. And uh, also, if you have any ideas how to raise it into an even bigger scale, we are very open for collaboration. These games are developed under Life for Climate Project, co-funded by European Union, Erasmus Plus Strategic Partnership in the Youth Sector with the following partners. Nausicaa Foundation in Poland, the Larpifiers in Greece, Pepsi MTU in Estonia, and Alipier in Norway. Once again, we warmly welcome you to use our scenarios. Take a look at it by yourself, www.nosika.eu slash LARP for Climate.